can't talk today. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> What's new? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the first ever Psychic Sunday with Jackie. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this series. I have had this planned for a little bit of time now and I am really excited to get started. So what this is going to be is every Sunday I'm going to post a video talking about various degrees of your psychic development and tools you can use to enhance your own abilities and help yourself along your, your spiritual journeys. So excited. Um, today we're going to be talking about clairvoyance. Clairvoyance is translated to clear seeing. So basically what clairvoyance is, is seeing images and little movies, things like that in your mind's eye. When I say mind's eye, some people are like, what, like, what does that mean? Like, what is your mind's eye? Take a second right now and just close your eyes, or you can keep them open, either one, um, and imagine what a bright red juicy apple looks like. Just kind of imagine what that looks like. In that space is where clairvoyant images usually pop up. Now the more you progress and the more you strengthen this gift, the better your clairvoyance becomes and the easier it is to see these images without having to close your eyes. For beginners, it's usually a lot easier to start by closing your eyes just so you can focus a little bit better, but as you progress into different levels of clairvoyance, you'll be able to start to see images and um, little movies playing and things like that as your eyes are open. You'll be able to like look at something and be able to focus on it, but also be able to see these other things. If you've ever had a, a daydream or like, you're in class and you're thinking about like, that Chipotle bowl you're going to get later and you're imagining like all the toppings you're going to get on it. That is basically where the images are received. It's that same kind of state of mind where you get really relaxed and you just start to like receive images. That's pretty much the basics of what clairvoyance is. Now there's a couple of different ways to develop this that I personally use. So let's jump into that. The first exercise is something that is very basic. It is visualization. So with this, I like to pick really warm tropical places <laughs> just because I wish I was on the beach all the time drinking margaritas. So, so you can pick a place where you really want a vacation or a place that you know really well or just pick like a broad kind of description of a place like a forest or the beach in general or whatever. Whatever place makes you feel really comfortable and is somewhere that you feel like you can really visualize in your mind. Then what you do is you sit down, you take five minutes and you start to visualize in your mind with your eyes open or closed, whichever is easier for you. Maybe start with your eyes closed at first and you just start to visualize yourself in this place. I like to engage all of the senses when I do this just because not only can you start to clairvoyantly develop, but you can also start to, to bring in the other clairs, such as clairsentience, clairaudience, all of those, and you kind of encompass it into one sort of exercise. Is that too much? Am I, am I moving too fast? I don't know. I don't know. How do I gauge these things? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> with clairsentience and with clairaudience and all these different things, it, it's just really encompassing your five senses in a different space. So it's in like a meditative space where you're like encompassing what it feels like to be in a forest. That's clairsentience. What it looks like to be in a forest. Imagine the green trees or if you're in, you know, a redwood forest, if you pick somewhere like that then imagine the, the tall, tall redwood and, you know, all of those things. And then imagine clairaudiently, like the crunching of the leaves under your feet and maybe there's a stream nearby and just kind of walk yourself through this place. Obviously for the clairvoyant exercise, you want to focus mostly on the visualization. But while you're going through this, it might actually be helpful to be aware of what you are sensing the most? Are you sensing the sounds the most? Are you seeing the picture so clearly and so vividly? Are you feeling the breeze on you as you walk through this forest or as you walk on the beach or, or whatever you're doing? What is the thing that is grabbing your attention the most and is it clairvoyance? 
if you're focusing on the clairvoyance and you're trying to imagine these things, but you're really just being able to hear the crunching of the, of the leaves under your feet, and that's the thing that's the loudest and the most vivid to you, maybe you're a little bit stronger in your clairaudient abilities, and I'll be doing a video on that next week for the next Psychic Sunday, and we'll be talking about that. But just be open to the experience when you're first starting out. I think that that's the biggest thing is... Don't put pressure on yourself to like perfectly have everything visualized and down to a T because it's not always going to be extremely, um, I don't know, it's not going to be like a 4K video in your mind. Like it, it that's not like how it works. It, it works more as like these flashes of images or these little like Snapchat videos <laughs> where you kind of just see it quickly. But if you can really engage you know, all of those senses and try to start to not only clairvoyantly visualize but also be aware of what else you're sensing, you may realize that one of your other clairs is actually stronger than your clairvoyance and maybe the next videos are going to be for you instead. Just be open to the experience for your first time. For this exercise, what you're going to do is you're going to get a little box a little you know it can be like a jewelry box it can be a shoe box it can be something just make it something small and you're going to ask a friend or a parent or someone like that to put an object that you do not see into this box and then you're going to have them put it on a table and then you're going to come out and you're going to start to kind of clairvoyantly try to figure out what's in the box so you imagine yourself opening the box and what's in it is it a bottle? Is it a coin? Is it silver? Try to figure out what type of color it is. What does it look like? Is it round? Is it square? What shape is it? All of those different things will really help you start to develop your clairvoyance. Let's say somebody put in like a butterfly pin or something, like a like a pin. A pin. What 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 what, what is a butterfly pin? I don't even I don't even know why I said that. Let's say somebody put like a toothbrush or something in there. You might see yourself or somebody brushing their teeth and you'd be like, why am I seeing that? Well, it could be because it's a toothbrush, it could be because it's toothpaste. Just keep your mind open to that. This is one that I used to do almost every night before going to bed, which is probably why my clairvoyant abilities are like my number one abilities that I lean on. I would go through the alphabet and I'd start with like A or I'd start with Z and I would pick something, whatever came to my mind, and I would visualize what that looked like. The color of it, the shape of it, as clearly as I possibly could, that's what I would do. So if I started one night with Z, and I saw like a zucchini, I would imagine the green zucchini, I'd imagine the shape of the zucchini, maybe myself cutting it and making it into like something for dinner or something like that. And then when I felt like I had really visualized it, I would move on to the next letter. So not only taking myself through the basic image of what that thing is, but also taking myself through a little bit of like a Snapchat length video of myself doing something with that thing. That's just a, that's a really good way. That's actually my favorite way out of all of these um, to strengthen the clairvoyant ability because it's kind of fun and you get to go through and pick. Sometimes I'd start with like random letters and work my way forward or backward and just to kind of mix it up a little bit because it gets kind of boring starting with A all the time, starting with Z all the time. Have fun with it and have, you know, be creative. Let your, let your imagination do what it wants to do because that is sort of the space where you're seeing these things is in that imaginative creative space so have fun with it and yeah don't put pressure on yourself so I hope you appreciate all these tips that I've given you I'm so excited to hear about everybody's progress um, make sure to leave a comment down below what exercise you think is your favorite and if you have any questions for me regarding clairaudience abilities and what they are I'll be doing that video next week and I cannot wait so thank you so much make sure you subscribe and hit that like button for weekly psychic Sundays with Jackie for more psychic development tips and I will see you next time